is my master bedroom. As you can see, there's a television and a black sofa in front of a giant bed. There's also a study table with a mat and a lamp beside it. In front of this, you can see two black cabinets and a long rectangle window next to it. After that, you can see there's a toilet next to this bedroom. There are two white cabinets and a basin with a mirror above it. There's also a place that you can shower and a bathtub which you can have a relaxing bath. This is a painting that was painted by myself. The title that I was given was comic and manga. I've looked up online to find inspiration and I ended up drawing an artwork which has three characters in it, which are Superman, Wonder Woman and Joker. Superman and Wonder Woman are heroes while Joker is a supervillain. I've outlined all the objects and the characters by a black color pencil and colored them using color pencils to show the contrast between themselves. Next, this is a movie room with six paintings on the wall. They are definitely the main equipment for this room, which are the movie screen, speaker, LED lights, and the microphone. There is also a grey mat above a long sofa and a table. After this, we will have our study room. There's a rack of book with a mini cactus and an artwork next to it. There's also a study table, chair, and a tiny cabinet on the wall with some books, decorations, and pictures. You can also find an artwork beside the study table that was painted by me. I have taken a picture in a mall and redraw it on the paper. According to the task given, I had to cut pieces from magazines and stick it on, on the drawing. After that, I redraw the paintings again by including all the details from the pieces that I stick on the drawing. This is the second bedroom and it is very simple. There is a dark brown cabinet in front of a bed and a wall rack next to it. There is also a small study area that you can study at. Next to it, it is a toilet. It is small but it composed of the basic things of a toilet which are the toilet bowls, toilet paper holder, water spray, a small mirror, and a basin. This is the third bedroom. As you can see, there's an L-shaped cabinet and sofa in both corners of the room. You are able to enjoy yourself by sitting on the sofa, watching at the television. There's also a double-decker bed, which means this room can accommodate two people. This is the fourth bedroom. There's a grey cabinet and a television beside it. In this room, there's also a study area and an area that you can study up yourself by looking at the mirror. There's also a bed with two small cabinets beside it. This is my favorite place for this house. It is a long swimming pool with three beach chairs beside it. There's a small bathroom next to the indoor swimming pool so that people are able to shower right after they swim. There's also the basic equipment for the bathroom which are the basin, mirror, toilet bowls and a place to shower. After this, it is a L-shaped kitchen. As I have only an oven in it, there's nothing much to show. Lastly, this is the living room. There's a grand piano, paintings, wall design, and a dining table. There are two black sofas that you can sit on while you are watching television.
I'm just living in Berkeley, having grown somewhat wary of family life. I've been meaning to stop by and pay my respect, but not been entirely certain how you felt about me after the incident with your mother, which was certainly a serious mistake on my part, but not serious enough. I hope to permanently alter you. Your feelings about me. I love you. I love you, and I can't help myself. And I am begging you to forgive me for what I did. I love you so much. I'm terrified of seeing you every time I step out sign the the door. I feel helpless and hopeless, a loss and miserable. Please forget what I did, please, Alan. Oh God, Alan, I love you. Please forget what I did. Please forget what I did, Alan. I love you.